Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is your host Khan Baba. Today is July 25th, 2024, Thursday morning. I hope this video find you well. God will give you more happiness for you all. Today I am sharing some crunchy and important new for you. So without any further delay, let's jump right in and explore the video. As all the news was telling us, the CBI and the Finance Committee of the GOI were discussing how the project to delete the zeros and change out of the currency would work. Many still remember the change out from the Saddam notes in 2004. It will be a similar process. So, from this news we know that they are ready to go with this next step of the process. Already we know that what has been accomplished in the de-dollarization process is hard to undo at that point and would only lead to more mistrust of the government and the CBI banking system if they decided to turn back. So, there is no turning back and they must move ahead. Don't be discouraged. The currency reform and banking process has come a very long way in a short period of time since January 2023 compared to waiting. Since 2011, when the plan originated with the IMF on how to turn the currency back on. So we went 11 years with not much progress then suddenly a huge jump which tells us something is up. This alone is all telling. We must take this solid evidence and use it, not some stupid rumors. To me this tells a tale of western manipulation of the Iraqi economy and pressure not to let them make their own decision on how to run their own country. If Iraq is to progress, as they say is their goal, they will need a globally recognized and traded currency once again and get it very soon. Please just be patient. The reinstatement is coming and I firmly believe from what we now already know and are about to witness is the major part of the banking reforms that everything else was geared up to support over the past 11 years. Iraq is about to get out of the sanctioned mindset, banking practices and return to common global banking practices of how they will be doing business with the rest of the world. With its rise locally, Iraq's gold reserves were revealed. The economic advisor to the prime minister, Mazar, Mohammed Saleh, revealed the size of the Iraqi gold reserve at the Central Bank of Iraq. There should be a distinction between fundamentally imported commercial gold and monetary gold, which is an integral part of the country's foreign reserves. As monetary gold falls within the diversification of the monetary authorities, investment portfolio, and the numbers indicate that it exceeds 132 tons of monetary gold and within the safe range of reserves foreign to the country. What is happening at the present time in terms of the increase in gold jewelry is the result of an increase in demand for it. When the demand for it increases, its price increases, and so far this is economically logical. God bless you and take care.